it is that when you hide God's word in your heart, there will come a time in your age where you may start losing some of your senses. You may, the word's hidden, but it kind of comes out in different ways. And he's just going to demonstrate to us the importance of reciting and memorizing and making sure that God's word stays hidden in your heart in a very organized, uh, efficient manner. So without further ado. from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he lost his way and fell among thorns. And he didn't have any money, so he went to the Queen of Sheba, and she gave him a hundred pounds of gold and five hundred changes of clothing. Well, he took some of his money and bought himself a Ford, but it broke down on him, so he bought himself a chariot instead. And he drove his chariot furiously, and while he was driving his chariot under a big redwood tree, his hair got caught in the branches and he hung there. But he was okay because the ravens brought him food and water. And one day, while he was hanging there sleeping, his wife, oh, Ruth? No, Delilah. His wife Delilah come along and she cut his hair. And he fell on stony ground. Now he got up and continued on his way and it began to rain. And it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. But he was okay because the big fish came and swallowed him up. <laughs> it threw him up three days later. Okay. Now he was so distressed by these events that he went and hid himself in a cave and lived on locusts and wild honey. <laughs> now when the rain stopped, he continued on down to Jericho, and that's where he saw that old Queen Jezebel sitting high up there at a window. And she was laughing at him. And he got so mad that he yelled, Throw her down! And they did. Then he said, throw her down again! And he had her thrown down 70 times 7. <laughs> and of the pieces that were left, they filled 12 baskets full. <laughs> then the man says, blessed are the peacemakers! <laughs> now i got a question for you. Whose wife will she be in the judgment day? <laughs> <laughs> 